Like, I felt really jealous in be, as working with Nick because Nick is, like, just a phenomenal songwriter. He's, like, one of the best songwriters I've ever seen, you know? And I was comparing myself to that. I was like, oh, my stuff is really shitty. And I didn't really write very much. And from that point in Missing Pilots, my sort of role in the songwriting was basically just taking the things that Nick would bring in and, you know, all of us would do this and just sort of dissect it and reconstruct it and everything like that. Um, I'm making a new one of these. <laughs> I have some plans for my future, but if I had a serious band, I think I would probably do that first just because I'm young. And it just does noise, you know. There's some other things that you have to do. There's cool, cool things you can do with uh, the rhythms. I just remember every time that we went out, no matter if it's just a little tour or even trying to do that big tour, uh, I was probably happier than like I had ever been before. Just knowing that I'm with like my really good friends, like, we're on the road. You know, I love to travel. We're going from town to town, meeting new people, and it's like music every night. Like, that's I was so excited. To meet. such a good mood. Snowy who lives here as well, but Snowy's a little a little overweight and a little sad and depressed about a lot of things. So and it's funny to watch Lillian and Snowy because they just fight <laughs> like all the time. It's okay, Lil, that's just a camera. I sort of um, I'm kind of at like a, a starting point again, you know. So my music is very basic, and to be honest, that's where that's kind of what I can create best right now, you know. Like I'm, I'm really enjoying it, you know. For the first time in a while, I really am enjoying it, you know. Yeah, I could show you. Yeah, it's a pretty rough, pretty rough demo. sort of coming through all this, it's taken me a while, but I'm at a point now where I really like respect, just really, really respect Nick for the songwriter that he is, because he's a fantastic songwriter, but I don't let that hinder me from writing my own songs, you know what I mean? And that's all an internal battle, that has nothing to do with Nick or anyone. Man, I just feel like I've come like a long way in songwriting, and I really want to use that. Like, I feel like I've learned a lot through trial and error. But like I said, it's hard because I feel kind of jaded from every uh, so many disappointments. You know, it's hard to want to even do that. I don't know. But there's like a lot, a big part of me that really wants to get it out there, and I think that drive can overcome the jaded, bruised aspect of it. On that uh, stove, yeah. there's like a call to fire. That might, that might come on. <laughs> 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 it, it actually, it will. I know it, it, it takes a while for it to. There, see, look, it's probably a death trap. See that thing come up? Shit, now I lost it. There we go. Do you want more light? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Second recording session that ultimately went nowhere, which I guess most people could say a failure. It was actually really fun. <laughs> we just had a good time doing it. We didn't come up with anything, you know. It was a loss, but it wasn't. I think that's what put the kind of closure on, on that uh, sort of awkwardness that was there before of trying to be, like I think Rob said at one point, a small business, you know, really kind of broke it down to what we were really doing it for. <laughs> the cereal. I swear, maybe also the cereal. <laughs> oh man, this is so great. That's, don't, that's, that's coming through real super loud in here, man. Just be careful. Just be careful from this day forward, all right, Big Papa? <laughs> I don't know, to be honest, how angry Brad actually is when it comes to 
the tour stuff, you know, inside of him, deep down somewhere about that. I'm actually even, I'm, I'm trying to play with people around here, you know, like, just because I, I need to play <laughs> something that's kind of inside of me. And if I don't play, then I, I, I get really depressed and stuff, so I, you know, I've been trying to round, round up people around here. And I've played with so many people, but, like, uh, it never feels, like, the same as when I play with, with those guys. It's, Kind of, kind of sad, but also kind of nice to know that you know I have that connection with those guys. I don't know. I just like when you watch the way everyone interacts, and it's just like so much like chemistry, and it's amazing. But I don't know. We don't even see. We don't even see each other anymore. Um. I just wish we were playing. <laughs>